Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Joy. This is our very first video where we are going to start with a series of tutorials covering AWS Cloud Computing Platform. Now, this videos which I'll be releasing will help you to pass your AWS Cloud practitioners as well as AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So starting with this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free tier account that will enable us to use, try and explore various services of AWS for free of charge and for a specified limit. So let's get started. In order to create a free tier account, you need a valid e credit card, email address and a mobile number for alert and notification. So go on to Google and try type AWS free tier account. Click on the second link which says free cloud computing service AWS free tier account. <coughs> you will see this page is getting redirected. Now in this page they have discussed about what all features and services are available for free, free tier. So basically there are three offers. One is free trials, 12 months free and always free. If you scroll down below you will all be able to see the services that is categorized and available for free and 12 months free so if you click on 12 months free checkbox you'll be able to see the services on the right hand side and and then there is always free you click on always free you'll be able to see the services over here and then there is free trial so these are the free trial services so all this will be explored in detail in a further series so if you have not yet uh, subscribed to my channel i request everybody to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos so on the top left hand side you can click on create a free account here you need to provide the email address this will be my root email address that is an admin email address and then you need to provide a uh, account name so in my case it will be digital tech join and then cloud lab so so this is an account name which should be unique uh, so that and it should be unique and then uh, email address to and then we click on the verify email address where it will prompt you to enter the verification code that is sent on your email address so once you provide the verification code you will be redirected to the second page that is the second step where you need to specify whether you want to open the account for business type or for person you select personal enter your full name whatever name you like to add in then provide your mobile number and your, the country then address city state pin code and accept this terms condition and click on continue for step 3 so once you specify the type of account that is personal which we selected and the country and the address and pin code it will redirect you to the step 3 page which will prompt you to enter your credit card details cardholder name cvv and uh, address along with whether you have a pan card number or not so i don't recommend if you want you can specify the pan card number also and uh, it will pro once you very enter all this information it will proceed to the step uh, 4 so i will enter this information and we will proceed to the next step of creation of free account so once I entered my credit card information, it did an OTP verification. There was a rupee two transaction done in my account just to verify my credit card is valid. And once my verification was successfully done, it landed to the step four, where where, where it where it will prompt me to enter the mobile number and verify my validity of the mobile number. So uh, then we'll proceed with the step five. So I'll enter, I'll select my country and then enter my mobile number with the security code and we'll click on send SMS. Yeah, so I have just entered my mobile number and I have clicked on submit and a verification code is sent to my account which I successfully received and which I'm entering over here. And we'll click on continue. So once we verify our credit card and mobile number, we come we come to the last step of signing up a free tier account. Here, there are three options provided. The basic support, which is free. Developers support and business support will cost you money. So we skip up these options. We select the basic, 
basic support free which includes all the services so let's select that and say complete sign up so guys we have successfully created aws free tier account and we click on, click on go to aws management console and we click on my account aws management console so here is the console so what we'll do is that we we'll log in once with our root account click on sign in and here we are so guys congratulations we have successfully created a free tier account and here we can see this is a console of dashboard of aws cloud computing platform so we, we can see this there is a wizards over here so this is welcome to aws where we can have tutorials and training certification which will cover in detail and then what was the last ser services that you visited and selected then this is about aws health once we you try using various services we will be able to see how things are scheduled then obviously there is cost and usage <coughs> and various other uh, solutions latest announcements and explore more on aws training and everything so if you click on the if you see on the left top side there is something called services when you click on it, these are the and all services so these are the all services that is exposed by aws and we will cover most of them in our tutorials and as i told you if you have not subscribed please do subscribe because there are a lot of learning coming up on the way so these are the services now first thing we are going to do is that since we are uh, created a free tier account and we want to we have linked our credit card information on also the card we want to make sure that by utilizing our aws free server we don't cross the threshold limit now in order to safeguard our threshold limit we need to set up our billing alarm system so let's do that first also before we proceed on the right hand top corner you can see the region by default i am from india so uh, currently i have selected mumbai as my region there, there is another uh, lot of regions available and we will be covering the topic of region and availability zone what is an availability zone and what is the region this is my account name which i entered dtg cloud lab and we are going to use this uh, account for rest of our tutorials so let's click on services and then click search and enter billing so you click on billing so on your left hand side we can see the menu there is something called billing preferences click on billing preferences and this is a type of preference that you require your invoice on in pdf format by email you select that and receive free tier usage alert this is very important and you enter the email address so i'll enter the email address which i like to have my alerts and receive billing alert so these are the three options and the email that you need to specify so that you get the alert it is not necessary that you enter your own root account email address but you can also enter any other alternative email which you regularly check so that you don't miss out the alert so these are the alert preference when you click on save preferences so we have done this now we will go to our billing budgets so there is something called on the left hand side called budget now here we will set up a, our own budget so there is a create bu budget option which will enable us to create our own budget and threshold limit so before we do that we will use something called cloud watch so cloud watch is basically a monitoring tool which monitors your billing account as well as your performance and it has certain metrics so what we are going to do as of now is we are going to use cloud watch which is a service of aws and we are going to set our metrics for budget so we are going to say that key you need to watch our budget and our, I specify a budget limit so let's do that and then explain you so click on uh, search cloud and you will see cloud watch yeah this is server monitor, monitor resources and applications so click on cloud watch so here in this cloud watch dashboard select cre create alarm 
okay click on create alarm over here select matrix as i told you there is various matrix so for us we will select matrix of usage select matrix Hi guys, uh, here we have selected CloudWatch interface. Now when you click on the CloudWatch, make sure that um, before we set up any CloudWatch for billing, we need to select the region as, if you click on the top right hand side, you need to select the region US East, not Virginia. Now um, why do we select? need to select this region is because centrally all the billing alerts and threshold limits are managed by this region so in my previous step i did not select this and that is why i was not able to find that option of estimated uh, usage value that i need to specify so make sure that when you click on cloud watch and when you want to set anything really uh, billing related alerts then select the region as us east north region so once you select that you click on you click on create alarm so you click on create alarm click on the button create and then select matrix now you see there's an option coming out as billing click on billing and then select total estimated charge select usd and say select matrix so these are some default names given matrix estimated charge usd maximum and status period for six hours and then there's a threshold limit static and greater than clause and then here I enter 5. So this is my maximum limit, $5. Okay, I mentioned my threshold limit as $5. Click on next. Now once you click on next, you get to see the notification screen that is in alarm. And then there is something called select existing SNS. So SNS is nothing but it is a simple notification service. Which is, pro, which is one of the ser service of AWS that enables you to create a topic and then send emails or not, uh, notifications on that particular topic using that email address. So right now we don't have any uh, S S SNS topic created. So we click on create new SNS topic. This is a default name given for the SNS topic. Let, let uh, As of now, let's keep this as it is. And then you specify the email address for that's why I specified it and click on create topic so this topic is created so what is hap what will happen is I've set a cloud watch which is which is a monitoring tool and then I've selected uh, the billing section and for that billing session I selected the region as not Virginia and there I specified the threshold limit that my threshold limit for the entire billing is five dollars and in order to safeguard my threshold limit i have created a topic sns topic that will enable me to send alerts so my topic is created and whenever my threshold limit is near to uh, uh, the one specified in five dollars then it will send an email to this particular e endpoint that is email address and then we click on next we enter the alarm name I billing alarm and click on next so it just gives an option to preview it and then you say create alarm so I have created my alarm so my SNS topic is ready my CloudWatch alarm is set now I will need to activate that SNS topic so there is an email which will be sent in my email account so let me go ahead and check so you can see this is a subscription notification that Amazon has sent for the notification that I created. So it will ask for this default CloudWatch alarm topic which I entered in an SNS topic name. You click on confirm subscription. So once my subscription is ready and I come over here and I refresh it. So this action is enabled, my CloudWatch is ready, my SNS topic is ready. 
now what we need to do is that we need to go search for budget and we need to set our AWS budget so when you click on AWS budget there is an option called create budget click on that so here you can you can have a budget over here and you can also set up a budget that you know what is what is an estimated budget and recurring cost so this is something that you can explore uh, and um, you can further explore this billing section where you enter your budget name then you enter your recurring budget monthly and fixed budget and then you can also mention the threshold limit for example let me show you so budget Then set budget, set a budget amount for monthly or you can say annually or something like that. And then enter your budget amount. So I have selected annually, you can select monthly weekly quarterly and then you say recurring budget and then select the year then this is a fixed budget or a auto adjusting budget so i select fixed budget i enter the amount then all services and then i click on next so your budget amount is five dollars and then you can also add a threshold so basically i say four that means if my budget so i have a High level budget of five dollars but if it comes to four dollars then you raise an alert to me so you can see when your actual cost is greater than four dollars you'll get an alert and then you can specify whom do you want to send this alert to click on next so if this is your action and then you click on next it is review your budget entire budget and click on next year even your budget is set up so so we have set up so we have used uh, three services one we have used cloudwatch and i have shown you how to create a billing billing uh, setup over here billing alerts in using cloudwatch then also used sns topic so if you type sns you can see simple notification service so this is one more area where we touch base on uh, notification services we created one topic and we showed you how to activate it and then obviously we used aws budget to set up a high level budget and uh, also set up a threshold limit so we so we also showed you how to create a, a free aws tier account so guys in the next series we are going to cover how to create a instance yeah, how to create a server on AWS and how to connect it through your windows or unix environment so please do subscribe my channel like the videos and stay tuned for more such AWS tutorials videos coming forward thank you very much for your times